Hello everyone. You're welcome today to this episode. And it's now time that we address these issues. We've come to the crossroad to defend the only word of our Heavenly Father that through his inspiration was written through our forefathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, and other individuals that gave themselves to the work of the kingdom of our Heavenly Father. Before we start, let's have a word of prayer. We thank you almost. Hi, Heavenly Father. Your name is Yahweh. You created this planet and you own it. Let your will be done and let your mercies flow that the entire world but may know that there is a God in Israel whose only name is Yah. Thank you for an answered prayer. In the name of your son, Yahshua, Messiah, I pray. Amen. So you welcome once again. Today, our topic is going to focus essentially on the scripture there are a lot of questions now on the scriptures some say oh it's just a storybook some say oh it was written for the israelites some say this some say that but what do we also say as members of the heavenly father and what do we have to say now that all the world is attacking this good book? It is now time that we address and defend what our Lord has taught us. And today we're going to systematically go through. So I will start. As people mainly call it, people call it Bible. This word, Bible, actually originated from the Latin word Biblia. Biblia means books. So actually, the Bible is a collection of books. And the Bible that we have now is a collection of 66 books. Out of scriptures, a lot of scriptures that were written. So today, we're going to prove from the scriptures why do we need to study the scriptures why is it essential at this time of world history that we outline the importance the benefits the the motive the course of which we all have to um, understand and appreciate what was written for us so we will be going through some scriptures and see what the bible says i will start from the gospel according to mark chapter number 13 verse number 31 it says heaven and earth shall pass but my words shall not pass Let, let's analyze this test really quick this is talking about temporary stuff and permanent stuff in other words heaven and earth that we see here and when we talk about the heaven you know that we have different levels of heavens but it's not referring to where god lives but the heaven and earth the firmament and the biosphere and whatsoever in in the space is gonna pass but 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 the worst of the creator it's not gonna pass in other words the words of the creator is permanent but heaven and earth is temporary and it's very clear so we are dealing with something that is you cannot write it off so there's no two ways about it in the book of revelation chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 this was written by john in the island of Pathmoth, where um, he stayed 
and he was inspired and um, an angel of the creator visited him and gave him this revelation so revelation chapter 1 verse 1 says that the revelation of yashua messiah which elohim gave unto him to shew unto the servants things which must sent and signified things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel by his servant unto his servant john who bear record of the word you know who the word is from john chapter one that the word is the messiah and of the testimony of yashua messiah and of all things that he saw blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things there which are written therein for the time is at hand so if we all agree that the time that we live in now in the history of this world is very crucial if not at the end at least the beginning of sorrows then we really have to consider the scripture and analyze it so we can see that these scriptures were not written by anybody somewhere doing whatever they like these were written by faithful men through the inspiration of the holy spirit or through a revelation or vision by an angel in verse 19 of revelation chapter 1 also says write the things which thou hast seen so the bible is something that has been revealed to the prophets and the things which are the things which shall be hereafter so the bible talks about things that is concerning the present things that is concerning the past and things obviously that concerns the future so this book is an all-time book that's why heaven and earth shall pass but these words shall never pass second peter 